Michael Saylor from Strategy, formerly MicroStrategy, has used AI to muster up a genius, near perfect strategy of accumulating Bitcoin for MSTR equity holders. How has he done this? He's located an arbitrage opportunity. In summary, low risk bond investors who are limited by their mandates and therefore aren't interested in the potential of Bitcoin nor the risks associated with Bitcoin will enter into an attractive bond arrangement with strategy, following which Sailor will use the capital proceeds from the bond holders to buy more Bitcoin for MSTR equity holders. This is an asymmetric relationship between these participants, where the MSTR holders not only maintain full exposure to Bitcoin, but actually grow their Bitcoin units per share while the bond holders are on the low risk, low yield return side of the equation. By doing so, Sailor has merely bridged a gap, acting as an on-ramp for fiat locked, mandate tight, regulatory restricted participants into BTC. It's noted that MSTR currently is trading at two times MNAV, meaning that MSTR investors are willing to pay twice as much for each share than the underlying holding of Bitcoin. Well, why is that? It's because they anticipate strategy to accumulate more Bitcoin per MSTR share as time goes by. In other words, each MSTR equity shareholder will rack up more BTC in the future by holding MSTR than if they bought BTC directly. This is made possible via the arbitrage opportunity, the low risk, low yield bondholders who will kick themselves in the future. So let's recap. By raising over 8 billion through issuing bonds, preference shares, fixed income securities and convertible loan notes, Strategy has capitalized on a mega arbitrage opportunity. Conservative bond investors investors uninterested in Bitcoin's volatility provide low risk capital which strategy uses to acquire more Bitcoin. Strategy's ability to accumulate additional Bitcoin per share in the future means MSTR holders outpace direct Bitcoin purchases.